as we look at uh, CDs or we look at anything that's been copywritten, we always see a little symbol on it, right? It's that C inside of a circle. The C circle. The C circle. Yes. Right? And then sometimes you see the P circle. What's, what's, the, what's the difference? Well, the C stands for copyright. Yes. And so this would be when you write something on the piece of paper, you can always write at the bottom C circle, or you can put the word copyright, put the date that is first published, and the owner's name. So it could be you or your, your publishing company name or, you know, your company name. So that would be C for the copyright, and that's what that would pertain to. Now, the P actually stands for phonogram. What are those? Uh, yeah, one of those things <laughs> that uh, uh, were invented back in the day. Um, but a lot of people say the same thing, huh? Yeah. Um, so the shortcut to the P that I look at is production. If it's produced, if it's a produced piece, it's uh, done in you know some sort of production work. It's it's whatever form the recording is in at this time. So CDs, I guess technically MP3s, MP3s right? So uh, yeah, the, the phonogram is gone. We don't. You can't go to Best Buy and buy one of those anymore. But. Um, <laughs> Yeah, the, the P protects the recording. So just so we're clear, there's actually two different copyrights involved when you buy a, a commercial CD. There's the, the copyright for the creative material, the songs, and then there's also the copyright for the recording. Right. And so you can have multiple recordings of the same song, and that means that the C actually controls the license on the recordings, which are then turned into P, cop P circle copyrights. Right. 